Antoine, let's make sure those stickers are fixed the other way. Let's make sure all the plates are white. You got a different color right there. Our balls are not matching. We're missing three balls here. It has to be perfect. Chefs, they say, well, it's just a buffet. You know, anybody can do that. I think true chefs know what difficult task it is. It's easier to cook for 10 people and be perfect, but try cooking for 4,000 people and be perfect. That's the challenge. You gotta be crazy obsessed. Our buffet has the best food of any buffet. I'll throw down with anybody. I would say to those non-believers of massive cooking, let's go. There isn't too many chefs that can do that, and we do that here. So it's 4 a.m., and we are waiting for our food to arrive. It's important that every one of the kitchens has everything they need by 7.30. When you are feeding 4,000 people, you don't want to run out of anything. <laughs> Come on. I am originally from Oaxaca. I came here with my mother in 1984, and I ended up here in Vegas in uh, 1999. By 7.30, even if there's one guest on the line. Everything has to be absolutely there on time, looking fresh, looking beautiful, tasting perfect. Chef Leticia is gonna inspect the line at 7.30, so I need opening at 7.30 exactly. It's my stressful time, because if I don't have my, my restaurant opening at 7.30, I'm gonna be in trouble. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna quick take a look at our Yelp reviews and get ready for the day. Well, we have a five star, five star grade, you know. They, they had a great experience, well done. But down here, we have a two star, and this is the one I'm gonna focus on for us internally. Even if it's only one person that was upset, let's see if they're telling us exactly what we did wrong until we get to the root of the problem, fix it, and now we move on. Good morning, back on our team. All right, so a couple of things we got to talk about today. Uh, once again, our Yelp reviews. Uh, one of the things that was a letdown for them was the sushi was dry. But these are things that we can fix, right? Things under our control, nothing out of the uh, ordinary. And that's the task for today. You were in the best buffet in the United States of America, so be proof to work here, OK? Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Immediately after the team gets into the stations, I head up to the uh, production kitchen and get a moment to uh, reorganize, I guess. <sighs> Pointing to Bacana, that's where you get great food. That's the feast of the gods. I would imagine this is how uh, Celine Dion feels before she's going on to a show. So I'm, I used to walk in this much faster. I'm obsessed, you know, I have to fix something that I saw it wasn't right. Uh, condensation, we'll put a work order on that. Did they fix the oven? Yes, they did. Oh, good, okay. This is not looking good. Don't use this one anymore. Better. What do you see? It's just not representing as well, okay? Thank you, madam. We're gonna taste many things today. I gotta be prepared. I load up my pockets with tons of spoons and tasting everything because every, every day is new. Your taste buds are sharp and, and your eyes have to be like laser beams, so. The apostole just needs a little seasoning adjustment. That's it. The sushi rice. If the rice isn't good and they're thinking our, our sushi is bad and brought in, well, no, we work very hard and we take that very seriously. 
And so let's look at, uh, is it the grain? Is it the seasoning? Is it, are uh, we making it too soon? Just all of these things. He just made it maybe an hour and it's already dry. He's not doing with the proper technique. We need to see if we have enough vinegar. I'm just checking the grain. So we gotta fix a few things. Uh, so slow it down a little bit right. until we get a new a new batch going. Okay. This is fine. I think we'll just keep it warm. Don't let it get too cold. It looks like uh, whatever adjustments you made this morning are good. Good. All right. Solved. It just sucks. You do everything. You work your ass off, and then you you go down on rice. Oh. I said ass off, I'm sorry. I mean, you work your butt off. So every day, Chef Jose and I, we walk the line, we taste every single item on the line before the first guest arrives. Jose, we have to redo these guys. Then losing their shine. What do you think of those guys? It's, it's dry, it's dry. Carlos, may again, please. Thank you. Needs to have at least another minute on the brick. Very good. Yeah? Yes. We gotta reload. Thank it's you. very good, it's perfect. Thank you very much. Finally got it. After what, 25 years? <laughs> no, no, it's perfect. I'm out of spoons already? I put like 50 spoons. I don't know if there's another chef in the United States that uses as much spoons as we do. I love we. She smiled because it's a good sign. And I think our tasting of the line is finished. All right, guys, it's go time. Let's do this. It's seven o'clock now at Bacchanal. It's go time. We're ready to go. We got five minutes to open, and I'm missing 10 items on the line. So I'm a little rushed for time. We got three minutes, guys, three minutes. And I am missing a chorizo, missing sausage. Runner, runner. I, I go back to downstairs and check. Thank you. Guess is coming. We have guess right now. Right on the center of the meat. Right on the center. Right now, my plan is to make sure that everything is going out beautifully. There was no, no minis on the line. This window needs to be full at all time. You go to a station, it's going down. You gotta get in there. You gotta get them out of the weeds and um, give a hand. Everybody who loves their job and what they do, they have that stamina, that crazy energy, that restlessness. You never stop because there is so much that needs to be done. To work 14, 16 hours a day feels like nothing sometimes. It takes a certain type of crazy to be a chef. There is no way I could ever go to anything smaller than this. I don't know, uh, once my, my time comes up with Bacchanal, I don't know what that would look like, but it, it will definitely be big or bigger. And this is a never ending, never ending story here at Bacchanal. That's it, so this is a wrap. What do you want me to tell you? This is me, this is Bacchanal, this is what we do.